Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here a little while after our last episode, November 9th in game. So last episode we did a lot of looting down at uh, one of the storage units on the east side of town. And we got all these equipment boxes uh, on the ground in front of us, including boxes of holiday supplies, boxes of toys. Uh, we're going to leave the boxes of toys for our Christmas episode down the road. But we also found several boxes of electronic equipment and lab equipment. So we're going to start things off today by opening up these boxes. Um, we also got some uh, yeah, pet box down here. So we'll check all this stuff out. Uh, we also want to try and get some more uh, rotten food for our compost bin because I think this thing is yeah completely empty. So uh, we're probably going to have to fill this up again to 50. Um, oops. Should have uh, probably been a little bit better at keeping this uh, somewhat full. Uh, so I, I think it needs to be, once it's emptied, I think it needs to go to 50 to restart composting again. Uh, so that's a little unfortunate. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll see if we have time at the end. Right, well, we probably will. We'll see if we can find some food uh, this episode for that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, start by unboxing. Let's start with this animal box here, this pet box. And we'll see what's inside for our uh, many pets that we are gathering here at the base. Uh, so let's see here, we got our box cutter out, we opened up the box, uh, we got the bubble wrap, of course, we got a dog rope toy, okay, there you go, and, oh, a couple watering dishes, cool, that's kind of new, so let's give one to you, uh, well, it says food dish, but it's a watering dish, I guess, and one for you, there you go. And a bird cage. Well, I'm not sure if we can actually catch a bird, but uh, we have a bird cage. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe we'll keep this box down here, and we'll put the bird cage in there. Cool. All right. So our pets have a few new items. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our lab box equipment. I'm keeping all of our lab, or I will be keeping all our lab-related stuff up here. Uh, in one of these crates. I've got all our washing stuff up here, so I think we'll uh, maybe use this one here for our lab stuff. So let's go ahead and open these. We've got a few boxes to go through here. Uh, we'll go one at a time. So our first box, we've got a cork with a hole, okay. More bubble wrap, latex gloves, and is that it? It's usually only a few items in each box. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Uh, let's dump this box into our other cardboard boxes there. Same with our bubble wrap. And let's continue opening up some more boxes here. Let's see what other goodies we can find. Alright, more bubble wrap, a uh, cork, this time without a hole. Uh, glass connector, another hazmat suit. Rubber bung. Oh, another thermometer. Nice. Those are kind of rare. We found we have found one so far. So that's our second. I think I I have my other one in here. Yeah. So let's put them both together up in our lab equipment box. Open up with this last one. Another rubber bung. Uh, a microscope. Ooh, cool. That's also a rare one. More bubble wrap. Wow, a thermometer and a microscope. Ah, I think we got pretty lucky there. All right, cool. Let's go put all this stuff up in our lab, our new lab equipment box. Uh, so let's go here. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good haul. We already have a lab our uh, hazmat suit. But, uh, I'll take another one, I guess. I think our hazmat suit's on here. No. Where did I put our hazmat suit? I don't know. I put it somewhere. Okay. Uh, we got more bubble wrap here. Let's put that away. And we got five boxes of electronic equipment here. So let's start opening these. More stuff for us to dismantle. 9 volt battery. More bubble wrap. 
Uh, okay, that's it. Just a uh, battery. Open up the next one. A cordless phone. More bubble wrap. Some resistors. And that looks like that's about it there. I'm not sure if there's anything in particular that we're looking for in electronic equipment. Small electronic parts. So we've got most of this, like a lot of most of this stuff already. Another 9 volt battery. I don't even know what we can use those for, to be honest. The next one here. I think you can make bubble wrap armor though, so maybe we should try that sometime. Just to see what it looks like. I don't know if I actually want to use it. A uh, red copper cable. I don't think we've had one of those yet. So that's that's something new. Okay, and our last box of lab equipment. Some solder. Okay, we do have that. A diode. I don't know if we have a diode. It might be our first diode. Another computer. Uh, bubble wrap. Okay, so I think we've got like three computer bases right now. Transistor, cardboard box. Fantastic. All right, let's dump this stuff off. Oh, I think it's just cool having those equipment boxes though. Find some interesting things. So let's put uh, some of these smaller things on this shelf. The light bulb. Uh, the switch and transistor going here. Yeah, so that's our first diode. We've got lots of transistors. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of LEDs and light bulbs. Also, or, uh, several switches. Lots of terminal switches. That's our, that was our first transistor. Lone transistor. Okay, cool. So our first transistor, our first diode. And then uh, the rest of this stuff... Small electronic parts. Looks different than the, the image for this one. I don't know if those are the same things. Yeah, it goes into the same stack. Uh, Alright, so cordless phone. I guess that can go up here. Copper cable, red copper cable. I guess those will both go up here. Um, our batteries go up here. We're going to need another shelf. Or something for our batteries. Now I'm using this crate, this trunk down here for all our computer parts. Uh, so I guess that's only our second computer base. We've got the computer base, we've got a computer fan, computer keyboard, two computer monitors, fax machine, floppy disk, mouse pad, printer, scanners. So that's probably close to everything we need to uh, make the electronic repair bench. Could be a few other things, but uh, it'll be a while before we can do that. We need to get our Electrical skill up. Uh, yeah, I got my solder up here. Cool. Um, I want to sometime, I don't know if it'll be today or in the next episode, but I do want to start doing some metal working. So we've got a pretty good stash of uh, metal bars, metal sheets, uh, sheets, scrap metal over here. We've also got uh, some metal tubes. So, I don't know, we might do that uh, in an upcoming episode. Our crops are doing well. Uh, potatoes are 5 of 7 growth stage. I think our cabbage is the same. Yeah, 5 of 7. Broccoli is probably the same. Yeah, so we'll have another harvest soon. I'm actually surprised how many harvests we've gotten since we had uh, arrived here. Uh, we'll leave the boxes of toys. Uh, for Christmas, but let's go ahead and open up our holiday boxes and see if we can find some more supplies for upcoming Christmas episode. Uh, let's see what we got here. The obligatory bubble wrap, another pinata. Okay, cool. I don't know if it's always going to be a mixed candy. Sombrero, silver ornament, a Mexican poncho. Okay, cool. Grab a box. Alright, open up the next one. Or some, this looks exact same. Sombrero, silver ornament. Uh, what else? 
bubble wrap, pumpkin carving knife. Well, our next Halloween, if we make it that far. And our last box of holiday surprise. What do we got? Bubble wrap. A snow globe. Cool. Um, let's put this in the hotel room. Just put it on the ground here. There we go. A little decoration for the hotel room. All right. Very cool. I think that's all of the equipment boxes we picked up. Uh, let's put these away. Mexican poncho, I guess, can go on our cloth rack. Uh, there's our other hazmat suit there. Sombreros can go up there too. Uh, bubble wrap. And silver ornament and pinata. Silver ornaments in there. I'm not sure where we'll put our pinata. Let's just, uh, yeah, it can go in the hotel room as well. There we go. Okay, so it is 4.40 p.m. Um, let's take a look at our map. Where are we going to go today to look for rotten food? We've kind of hit up both of the grocery stores. Clean those out. Um, where is our map? Where is Nick's West Point map? Put my backpack. There we go. So, let's see here. I guess we could uh, finish. I don't know. I think we've. Yeah, we've searched all of this stuff. I, I searched this stuff in between episodes uh, a while back. I guess we could go back over to here, search these again, make sure we get all the uh, the rest of the food from there. So we, we have done a once over through here. Uh, maybe we should just, well, there is this grocery store here too. There's gonna be a lot of zombies over by the school. If we do go there, let's go there first thing in the morning when we have some more energy and uh, a longer time to fight. Hmm. Let's uh let's see, it's already the evening, so let's just kill some time around base. We'll sleep here and then we'll head out in the morning first thing. Uh we could do some mining, because we do have a pickaxe now. Let's try that. Uh we also have this colander. Or this uh dirt pile. And we do have a colander um summer. We can actually sh sift through the uh the dirt there to find more stuff. So let's try that. Here's our colander. I think we need our shovel and a sack. Let's pick that up. Uh, where did I put our shovel? Is it down here in the mining box? Yes. All right, so let's try this out. We'll sift through this dirt. All 49. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can find any extra items in here. As it gets ridiculously dark, let's make it over <laughs> to the door before I can't see it anymore. Oh, and our generator needs to be cycled on and off. Totally forgot about that. Hopefully our food's okay still. Uh, everything's still frozen. Good. Everything's still fresh. Good. Doesn't give us much more, but uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's look at this. We found some uh, limestone, obsidian, red clay, sandstone. Chipstones. So thanks for that comment, guys. I completely forgot you could do that. Uh, stone. Zombie bones. Some more worms. Maybe we didn't need the sack. I thought we needed the sack. There we go. Iron ore. Gray clay. Bauxite ore. Cool. And let's have a cigarette. 
Okay. And I think I want to just... I'm going to just try to sleep for... Or should we just go do some more mining? I think there's another pile of dirt, actually. Yeah, here. Uh, so let's sh sift through this, and then we'll go to sleep. I don't think it'll get any darker than it already is. Alright, so there we go. Well, unless it gets darker just from uh, the daylight feeling. Alright, so let's see here. We got chip stones. So good for making arrows. More sandstone, some rock salt, more limestone. Lead, gold, coal. Yeah, so we found uh, quite a bit of stuff there. More zombie bones, more worms. Cool. Alright, let's make ourselves a meal here before we go to bed. Uh, some cabbage. Do some potato. Should probably cook up some more meat soon, too. Keep adding that stuff to our salads. That's a tomato. We have lots of tomatoes. Let's do one more tomato. And we'll eat these leftovers. And let's add in this last bit of cabbage here. Alright, and this potato can go back in. Yeah, we'll eat half of the salad. 69 hunger. We're getting pretty good at making salads. Alright, our weight still 79 kilograms. We've been kind of stuck there for the last uh, several episodes. We are four months, three days in. So our next big milestone will be six months survived, uh, which will be, I guess, just in the uh, the new year after Christmas. All right, so let's close that and make sure our alarm is set. Uh, 4.30 a.m., that's good enough. Let's go ahead and sleep. Oh, and we slept through our alarm, apparently. We were very tired. 8 a.m., I think our alarm was on, wasn't it? Yeah, just slept through it, I guess. Okay. Let's drop all these mined items off. Uh, we actually found some trash too, which is cool. So as you can see, I've done more mining in between episodes, so we've got a pretty good stash of items here. We've got two iron ore. Uh, lots of clay. Six limestone, which will be good for uh, making hardened leather down the line. Uh, box of trash we'll put here. Should make a junkyard at some point. Zombie bones, they can put those in here. With our other bones. Right, we got worms, with our fishing stuff. And let's, uh, let's see here. I got. Oops, don't walk on the crops. What do I want to put down here? Let's put a shovel back up here. Along with that sack. Eat this broccoli. Oh, we got our uh, garden equipment here too to unbox. Let's uh, open that up. Forgot about that one. Garden hose. Uh, some fertilizer, okay, cool. So we got MPK fertilizer and KAS27 fertilizer. Hmm, didn't know there was two different kinds. Bubble wrap, oh, we got a rake. All right, interesting. So I'll just put that down here for now. Pruning shears. Maybe we can put that with our other weapons. Let's quickly put this other stuff away and then we're gonna go out and see if we can get that rotten food. All right, so pickaxe. And there, where's our colander? Colander. Oh, we got a weed whacker too. We can, um, I'll dismantle that later. Wind chimes. Do something with that later. Let's put 
this away. More pruning shears. I don't know if I've ever found pruning shears before. Can we dismantle them? No, we can't. Might be interesting to use as a weapon sometime. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Um, this pumpkin carving knife, I'll put that away later. Okay, we're not going to drive today. We're just going to run down there. It's been a while since we've done some running. And uh, we're just, we're going through a lot of duct tape, I think. Fixing our ambulance all the time. So let's get this equipped uh, both hands, our axe. Uh, maybe I'll just walk down there, try and save some energy. So we're not exhausted when we need to start fighting zombies. But uh, yeah, we will be back uh, in a couple seconds here. Here we go. The other end of the path here. Back at the asphalt road. Uh, yeah, there's going to be quite a few zombies here, I guess. Yeah, some sizable groups. Let's get started here, actually. Oh. I always forget to take these beta walkers. Let's take those now. Get going. And you know, it's it's more of a luxury to, uh, I guess, get the composter going. Um, we don't really need it, especially with winter coming. We'll have all winter to search for rotten food. So I don't think we'll be growing much during the winter. If it's a mild winter, we could probably get a few crops growing still. Damn, it's so overgrown. Makes it quite hard to see where stuff is, where people are. Maybe I should be stomping more, now that we have uh, the two names on this axe. I don't know what's going to be more exerting on us. Swinging our axe or stomping. Jesus. Just keep spinning around here. We're okay to get inside now. Let's remove the glass. No alarm. Although I think we've been in all these houses, but I don't know that door was locked and the windows still have broken glass in them, so maybe not. people falling out of the second story. Alright, let's check for a run. Oh, what? Did she fall into the house? That was weird. That was strange. Alright, let's check for rotten food here. There we go. That's what we want. Um, I guess we go back to the uh, hunting knife now. Get Tiny Tim out. Okay, let's grab some, some food here. We'll grab both uh, base game and Hydrocraft. So we'll be able to compost both now. Medical textbook. I think we need the medical textbook and an anatomy book. And then we can do something with uh, our skeleton friend, Mr. Skeleton. Someone left me a comment about that several episodes ago. Another farmer's house. We found a lot of these farmer's houses, I feel like. So like in that Halloween episode, I think we found two, didn't we? Okay. Um, we do need to fill up our canteens, so let's do that. Check upstairs. Uh, not going to find any food up there, but... 
More so just for the goodies. Or not. CD player. Alright, dismantle that. Not worried about the ammunition. We have so much ammunition from our last looting run. Bleach, hairspray, and yeah, we'll take that. Uh, feather duster, we can get feathers from that by recycling. We get 10 feathers for every feather duster. Paddle ball. And we'll take that for the toy chest. And that's it for this house. Okay. Almost noon. Oh yeah, there's a shed back here. Yeah, yeah, we, we have been here. Long time ago. Two generators in here. Uh, metal bar, okay. Metal sheet. Weed whacker, dismantle. Tacky walky, dismantle. Hedge trimmer. Oh, we have a few of those already. Another weed whacker, dismantle. Oh, it would be nice to take this locker. Um, I think we could actually make them too with metalworking. That would be something nice to have. Uh, that house is burnt out, so I don't think we'll find much there. Let's just skip that one. Got a shed here with lots of zombies. Another burnt out house. Let's try and just sneak past this group. So we can probably mark all these houses off on our map. Um, I don't know if it's worth it trying to get in there. They'll probably see us. Could be something good in there, though. To a quick peek. I do not want to get cornered in there, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they weren't coming. <laughs> Just when I think it's safe to search. Right, quickly peek our head in. Middle, ah! Okay. Um, quickly. Metal sheet. Metal tube. And... I don't know if we'll need rubber bands. We'll take them. Let's grab this doorknob. Alright, moving on. Alright, well. We got a few rotten items. We definitely need way more than that, though. Our best bet may just be making a bigger garden and growing excess food. But then, I know that kind of defeats the point of having fertilizer. If you're just making fertilizer to make more fertilizer. Um, Alright, uh, let's go down. Let's pull out our map for a second and we'll just mark off some couple of these spots. Uh, is it still here or did we unpack it? Let's move that stuff over. Alright, they're up there. No one's seen us, so we're okay right now. Um, where the heck is our map? There. Alright. Let's zoom in here for a second. This is very dangerous. Doing this right here. Alright, so I think all three of these are searched. Go red, X, mark those off. So there's a couple more, I guess, past the uh, past the woods there. Or do we search all these? So this is the road that we're on right now, right? Or is there a road here that's not marked on the map? Where's this road? 
Is there more stuff down here? Are there more houses this way? Yeah, there are. So that, that road wasn't on the map. So there should just be two more houses here. Oh, big hiking bag. Looks like a skirt inside. Got lots of big hiking bags, though. So. Alright, we need a cigarette. Smoke that. Oh, we only got five feathers from that feather duster. I thought it was ten. Sturdy stick. Just move some of this stuff over. So our main inventory isn't so cluttered. Okay. Good. Alright, 1.30 p.m. Uh, it's a little dark out just because it's raining. We still got enough time though to do some looting. Uh, rotten pumpkin. Alright, let's get this bathroom zombie. Cosmetics case, iodine. I don't know, do we need iodine for anything? It's not like it weighs much, we'll take it. Grapefruit soda, let's have that for our lunch. More seeds, some jelly beans, more dog food, cleaning liquid, um, I will take that because we need that for washing clothes, electronic scale we can dismantle, timer, I don't think we need that, some red wine, sure, I haven't really picked up a lot of wine in this playthrough. Okay, so I think this one's done. Let's mark this one off the list. Oh, is that a uh, chest on the ground? Um, I might want to take this home. Or I, I guess it only holds 10 units. Those trunks actually hold more than that. All right, empty bottle. All right, let's mark this one off. Uh, add a symbol to that one. There we go. And let's check this, what should be the last house. Right, that one's burnt out, so that one's fine. So now there should be a road that goes down south. And a house right there? I don't know. Are we, yeah, there's the road. Are we looking at the right map, part of the map here? I guess so, yeah. Okay, so let's add another X there. Yeah, well, let's just keep going around here. Let's see what this house has to offer. Oh, it's locked. That one's not. Don't think there's going to be any more books that we need. Honestly. We've done two runs, if not more, to bookstores. Banana. There we go. More food. Baking pan. I think we have a couple of those, but I'll take one more just to be on the safe side. Dog kibble. We have two rice cookers, actually. We have a roasting pan, I know that. We have zombies. Let's just see if we can... Oh god. Oh god, okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Danger, danger, danger. Oh god, <laughs> there was a lot of zombies there. Okay. Shall we do one more house? Or these two and then call it? Surprisingly, only one zombie is following us after that. After dashing out of that house. Okay, let's, uh, let's try and search these two. I think we can mark that one off the map as well. 
copper pipe, more metal sheets, forceps. I think we'll need that for making uh, something medical related, probably. Oh god. Thought there was just the one. Let's close this front door, shall we? Your key. That was in the next room. Uh, another one of these chests, but they only hold ten. Yeah, unfortunately, they're nice, but uh, uh, the hydrocraft trunks—they hold thirty-five, I think. And they're essentially the same size, so. Quite a bit nicer. Uh, they got a, one of these mini fridges here. This might be nice to actually take. Um, I, I kind of want to take that fridge. But things are getting a little dangerous here. Oh god. Oh god, yeah. Okay, too dangerous. Alright, let's uh <laughs> let's end this episode before things get out of control here. Um we still have we're only half full on our our uh, bag here, so uh, we'll probably pick up and continue this adventure next episode. Uh things are getting we've had a couple of close calls here though, so I think it's time to call it for the day. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed. As always, leave me those comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'd like to see some more of Mr. Nick Collins' Zomboid Adventure in Season 6. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.